Welcome to the Ranger's Respite. I'm Philip, and this is Drinking Geek. Hey guys, it's Friday, which means it's time for another Drinking Geeks. Um, the last drink in Tiki Week, because I kind of like them. I'm doing a rip on the Blue Lagoon. Um, which, this one starts with an ounce and a half of uh, white rum. I am using Plantation 3 Star, as usual, because it's a white rum that I like. It's got uh, plenty of interesting funk uh, without being overwhelmingly funky. Wait a minute, what am I, where did I put it? Also calls for a half ounce of, ah, overproof rum. Buried in the back under my bar, unfortunately. It's a half ounce of this. Come on, pour. I don't like the Ray and Nephew. I think it's supposed to be a safety pour spout. There we go. It does this thing where you've got to get it upside down before it'll start pouring. And then it pours a little bit too fast. But anyway, half ounce of that. Then... Oof. Half ounce of blue curacao. Because it's a blue drink-ish. Ends up not being as blue as real Blue Lagoon. Half ounce of triple sec. Two ounces of pineapple juice. Ugh. Man, my hands are all slick. I like the way pineapple juice smells. I know it's weird. And you top off with ginger beer. I'm using Bundaberg because it's what I've got on hand. And take your stir and you stir your straw and you stir. have one of those days. You know, where, like, just... Things just go kind of weird and sideways. Mm. So I think it goes in a uh, highball glass full of ice. And I think... I think it could do with a little bit more pineapple juice and a little bit more uh, ginger beer. So maybe cut the ice to half and then uh, go with two and then top off. Whew. It's also pretty strong. The triple sec isn't as forward as I actually would like. But, uh, sort of because I like the Blue Lagoon, um, it's one of my go-to fruity drinks. I like making, this one is like Windex colored. It's uh, a little bit paler than your usual Blue Lagoon. It's also with the addition of the Overproof Rum. Uh, a little more potent. Um, but I like it. Um, so, 
trying to streamline my end credit process. But before I actually do that, I should talk about the actual flavors in the drink. There's this wonderful banana funk that you get from the Ray and Nephew, which is a Jamaican rum. Uh, and also a little bit from the Plantation 3 Star. Um, but what's from there? Um, the ginger is, again, you know, barely there. I mean, I there's a reason I prefer Goslings. Goslings has a much more punchy, not really aggressive, but more dominant present ginger flavor. And I think that, uh, that Bundaberg just doesn't cut it there. It's a little bit better. But the, the rum funk and the pineapple juice blend nicely to get you know, kind of a little bit of that pina colada um, ish flavor, you know. Um, and it's blue, which is good. It'll kick your ass, which is good. Um, yeah, I've consumed very little of it and I'm already starting to, to feel it. Um, something about Kiki drinks, it's the, the high, high sugar content is what it is, um, really get you quick. It's, you know, a combination of Kiki drinks tend to be really potent, or tropical style, or, and Kiki style drinks tend to be potent alcohol wise, and also have a high sugar, sugar content um, and because your body metabolizes sugar in a different way than other things hold on <laughs> because your body metabolizes sugar differently um, high sugar drinks will affect you more um, there's this sort of anecdotal are a lot of anecdotal, you know, oh, when you drink a lot of sugary drinks, your hangover is worse. And I think that that's almost more because you tend to drink more when there's more sugar, because you don't feel the alcohol impact as much immediately. Uh, I could be wrong. In fact, there's a really good possibility that I am. But it's something to think about. Now, back to streamlining my... Uh, outro. This is what uh, members of the Patreon and Whiskey Club are voting on to review next week. To vote, just join my Patreon. It's a dollar a month. There are side benefits to uh, being involved. Um, if you want to support my channel, don't like Patreon, you can buy a that's the Spirit Pot Still sticker from my Etsy store. There's a link below. If you like D&D mm, &D magic items and stuff, um, there is a uh, Kopi coffee, however it's pronounced, I think it's coffee, link to my page where I'm raising money to get a better mic because this mic it just isn't cutting the mustard. Um, I'm also fiddling with camera settings to see if I can fix the weird like shifting color hue thing. Uh, let me know how that is going. There's also a link to the Whiskey Lodge where you can talk to myself and a bunch of other uh, similarly minded people about whiskey, food, video games. It's a great place to hang out. We abide by one of the cardinal rules of you know, any good whiskey group, the best whiskey you like. It, the best whiskey is whiskey you like the way you like to drink it. Which we stole from the Whiskey Tribe people um, because uh, a couple of us there are magnificent bastards. Anyway, I think that that is it. Uh, look for another weekend show this weekend and a Monday show, which will be different from my other Monday shows. And until Saturday evening, stay happy, stay geeks, slancha.
Thank <laughs> you.